Hello YouTube. Let's see if that'll focus. See that little red light right there? Just wiggle this cord. Oh, and it went green, then it went red, then it went green, then it went red. Now it won't even go green. Just going red. Anyways, this video I think I'm going to entitle The Stupidest Thing to Prep. That still might be useful. What that little red light is, is it's, uh, I got that from Costco, that plug, but it also has four USB ports on it. My phone is currently connected to it. Of course, it's not going to do it for me simply wiggling around right now. Oh, there it went green. And now it's out. Um, whatever USB charger that is, now my wife's cell phone is from a newer age, mine's still this, I actually have flashlights that charge on this charger, charger style as well. What I'd like to point out is those stupid little cords wear out. If you're like me, you got to plug your cell phone in a lot. Uh, my cell phone is with me all the time. It's kind of a requirement for work. Um, sometimes I go to work and I don't even talk to my boss for two, three days. It's a few texts here and there. We might even be in the same building, but it's just quicker to text sometimes because he'll leave me a list or I'll leave him a list. So my cell phone is constantly charging. Um, also, like I might, I have my headphones on. A lot of guys know that, that I just listen to you guys. That's why I don't comment a lot, is I just listen to your YouTube videos as I'm at work, because we have internet at work. But I, I would honestly say, how many of these cords you guys bought? One, you lose them all the time, especially if your boss has little battery packs that need those ones too because he steals them on you some are just cheap crap that they don't work very well and you just throw them out pretty much right away and my main point is they do wear out little pieces of metal see if we can get that close to the camera just don't quite work now this one works all the time with my headphones all the time with my um, flashlight right now, but I have had them wear out on that too. The cell phone seems to be the most picky of things. I've set it on my charger overnight and went, ah, I didn't charge a damn thing. Has anybody else had that problem? What I'm saying is, if you have the little solar panel for your flashlights or for your cell phone, and I'm not saying, you know, anything horrible, but if you've got your power out and your, your cell phone is still working for internet with the, uh, I don't know what it is anywhere else, but I have an LTE network, whatever the heck that means. I am not technologically advanced. But you could still send messages out during a power outage or you could still, like I did, film YouTube videos. But if you don't have a cord, you're nowhere is to be found. So, just like I say, guys, these are the stupid little things you can look at, holding back for yourselves. And, I mean, obviously, if that's not your charging cord, you know, stock up a few more than you think you need of the charging cord that you do need. Granted, nah, the grid's down or whatever, and the cell phones are useless, great. You still might have a game on your phone that could still be fun to play. Download it on your phone. Why not charge your phone and just have something for you to play with? Maybe even if you just want to have something to talk to like I do. I don't know how many people actually watch me, realistically. But sometimes it's just nice to uh, chat to my phone. So maybe you want to do that just to get yourself through a, a bad situation. But you can't do that if you're staring at a black screen. So again, like I say... The stupidest thing to prep, but why not have it, guys? They're cheap right now. Uh, good ones for me for this style. They're about 10 bucks. I'm sure I could find them cheaper on Amazon. 
again, not technologically advanced, so I spend a lot of money on the ones I find in stores. I'm sure I could find some decent ones on Amazon or any of those Wish or whatever those other sites are, but I don't really online shop. So if anyone's got any suggestions to uh, keep those things from breaking, let me know. And also, do you have a buttload of these sitting in your truck, your car, your kits? Because like I say, if you have a little solar panel charger, what are you charging if you don't have a kit or a cord for it? Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. Bye.